Hello. Uh, at our session we received a question uh, about how to change the culture of the Swedish police. The answer to this, and my answer to this question, actually applies to any organization, public as well as private, regardless of its purpose, mission and goals. It, does not matter, it doesn't matter if you offer cars, uh, statistics, or pro and crime, or whatsoever. The same generic principles apply. That's a fact. And uh, what I also want to, to highlight, that my presentation and, and the topics that are covered when it comes to culture only constitute one piece. Important one, but just one piece. If you want to improve uh, the results, reduce costs or increase effectiveness, efficiency and productivity, and also at the same time increase joy of work. You need to work on these four levels um, that I talk about in my presentation. And culture, uh, my presentation and the topics covered resides in level two. Uh, important to know, to highlight that, so, so it's not enough to only work with culture. You need to, you need to create and tailor-made the support that works with all these four levels. And that is top management responsibility. Uh, and <clears throat> before doing that, you need, they need to know why certain approaches work and others don't. What approaches to include in the support and how to train managers and co-workers to use them well in order to, to develop, change and improve the daily, day-to-day -day operation. Uh, that's important. And it all starts with management. If you want to change, develop and improve uh, the culture of your organization, you need to, to change the behavior of its managers. Uh, so it all starts with management. So the support I have created uh, or tailor-made for organizations and management teams and managers is tailor-made for true excellence. It actually helps uh, organization, management teams and managers how to use fact-based methods in order to achieve good results or great results. Both for, for the managers but also for the co-workers, the groups, teams, the business and the entire organization in relation to its purpose, that is to say the stakeholders. That's why an organization exists. And uh, <clears throat> the underlying principles, many, I have many underlying principles when I created and tailor made this support is one very important one is as, as managers lead themselves, they lead their co-workers. As they lead their co-workers, they lead groups. As they lead groups, they lead teams. And as they lead teams, they lead entire business and organizations. It is like the links in, a chain, in this chain. And, and the support uh, I created creates excellent results for each link in this chain. But as you see, it all starts with management. And uh, it all, <clears throat> why does this create this kind of results? And, and actually it's not a coincidence because I have used uh, so many different excellence models from many different areas related to both management and leadership and other areas. Uh, and uh, when I have transformed what to how into practice, I have used several important principles and some of them I mentioned in my presentation, the five criteria for all the approaches that, that are included in our support. And that's also relevant for culture, for work, for developing, changing and improving culture, of course. Uh, and I mentioned the, the three tools there in my presentation um, that are combined in a longer term process over time. In order to go all the way. So, <clears throat> if you want, what have others achieved? If you're interested to, to see more what other organizations or management teams and managers have achieved when it comes to my tailor made support, uh, I give some sn snapshots in, in the end of this video to, to highlight different things uh, what they have achieved. And it's along all these five, uh, four areas I mentioned here. Uh, and culture is, of course, one of them. So, if you want to change the, the culture, 
uh, of the Swedish police, you need to start, uh, you need to change the behavior, as I mentioned, uh, of its management. And, and in order to do that, you need to start at the top. Um, top management are responsible for improving the systems and process that, that their that managers and co-workers work in, in relation to their stakeholders. So, you, besides a, a commitment, a long-term commitment from top management, it's also important that, that, that when they, to create and offer long-term support that goes all the way, both when it comes to, not only when it comes to working with culture, developing, changing and improve culture, but also other things. Uh, and uh, if you know, you're certainly familiar with that. At all improvement requires change, but far from all changes lead to improvement. It's a huge difference between change and improvement. You should change for improvement, and you should measure its effects. Uh, as we do, we we measure the effects on five different levels, and um, and we are. It's not so common that. But we are doing this in Statistics Sweden. So um, I think it's if you want to change, you need to ch all change is knowing where you are now, the present state, and and you need to decide where you want to be in the future, the desired state, and then you need to to find approaches that take you where you want to be, the desired state, with good outcomes, measurable outcomes. That is uh, change management in, in a couple of words. But if you want to achieve this in practice, it all starts at the top. At the top. And um, improved quality means that it's what and how you work with management, with leadership, with your co-worker, with strategy, etc. As I mentioned in my presentation. Uh, and if you do this uh, in the right way, it will lead to this reaction in this, in this chain. Um, it will improve results, reduce costs, and increase joy of work. Uh, but you need to do it in a certain way. You need to work on all these four areas, not only culture, but culture is one very important thing that uh, that support uh, uh, and injects some fuel or rocket fuel in this journey. So. Um, <clears throat> I, what I really want to highlight is that top management are responsible for for driving this chain, this chain reaction for quality management. Um, so their main focus should be that uh, to improve the systems and process that the managers and the co-workers work with. Uh, but because changing what people will do, manager and co-workers will not change uh, the deeper issue uh, and lead to good results. So um, I want to really highlight that and it's relevant both when you develop change and improve culture that you, you, you use good tools but you need also to create support uh, for the other areas I mentioned. So yeah, that was all and um, uh, I hope you enjoyed the presentation, um, the full part. <laughs>